Morning everyone, welcome to Florida day three. It's a new day in Orlando, Florida. It is still raining. This is the second day now. It's just been this light drizzly rain. It rained all night as well, but we're not letting it get us down. It's Sunday today. So me and Laura are up and about. Mum's up and about as well. We've got to be out of this villa by 10. However, the owner is kindly letting us leave our bags here until two or three o'clock uh, when we move across to the next villa. And since it's only eight o'clock, me and Laura are going to go and grab a coffee somewhere before we then head out for the day uh, with mum and dad. I think we're going to do the nature drive today. I uh, see so a Popka nature drive. I'll give you more info on that uh, a little bit later. We're going to do it yesterday. Time got away with us and we changed the plans. We're always tweaking our plans a little bit. But yeah, me and Laura are going to go and head for a coffee. We don't know whether to go to celebration. The market was meant to be on today. I don't know whether it will be due to the weather. But uh, we'll see. We'll go and grab a little coffee. Come back for these at 10 o'clock when we've got to be out. And uh, then we'll uh, start our day. I think we're also going to go for a nice breakfast in the British Cafe. So if you're looking for a proper British English breakfast here in America, uh, in North Orlando, Florida, I should say, then uh, definitely stay tuned. But yeah, for now, I'm just uh, watching, listening to all the birds. You've got a nice nice one here. He's trying to catch his breakfast. Been watching him for a little while. A big bear to prey there. Look at that. Wow. Big bear to prey going by. You can see him. There he is. Yeah, the birds have been tooping away. And this is what's going to be good about the nature drive, I think. With the weather like this, a lot of the nature all comes out. And the gators, things like that. Everyone's all a bit active in this sort of weather. So that'll be nice. Yeah, you can see all the birds around. And uh, the <laughs> it's nice to look at. It's nice to uh, look how you've got the little duck there as well. They're all out and about this morning. Breakfast time. Right, let's hit the road, go and get a coffee. Well, I've never seen Florida like this, just consistently raining. It's like the UK sort of weather, 16, degree, 16 degrees and just consistent, consistent rain. But it doesn't affect us, we're cracking on. You can't let it uh, bring you down, don't be stressing about it being sunny. There's always plenty to do. As I mentioned yesterday, the only issue is this weather has coincided with the weekend. With the weekend so. Like a character breakfast today is going to be rammed and things like that. But I'm looking forward to the nature drive. The nature drive has been very highly recommended to us many, many times. So I'm looking forward yeah, to that. I'm really excited. Nice thing to do on a day like today. The animals today. will all be out today as well with the rain. So that'll be really good. And then we've got a longer time in the next villa as well. So when it's rainy and we check into the new villa, we don't mind spending a bit of time unpacking and stuff, which will be all right. If it was dead sunny, you'd be like, oh, I want to go out. And But yeah. when the weather's like this, you won't mind unpacking and switching villas and stuff. So, right, let's crack on. Let's have a good, fun Florida day. We're going to start off, I think. I think we're not going to go to celebration because the market will be on next Sunday and we'll go and film it properly. Yeah. And if it is raining, the Starbucks hasn't got any indoor seating. So I think... We'll either pop to the Starbucks um, at Target. There's a Starbucks in Target down the 192. Or we can go to the other Starbucks that we like on the 192. That one near Walmart. Yeah. So we'll have a think as we drive out. We're either going to turn left or right. Get your thinking cap oh, on. See, if, if I want to go to Target, I want to go around Target. That's the problem. Oh, do you want to go around Target, everyone? Ooh. Or have you had enough? No one's ever had enough of the American never. supermarkets, oh, have they? Never. I ever. could them all day. I could spend a whole day in Target and Walmart and stuff, and that'll be a boss day holiday. One uh, part of the vlog vlogs that is going to come up is um, food in petrol stations. This has come up quite a lot. I was talking to the air hostess and uh, the air, air cab, cabin crew on the plane, and they were all saying about they all just love the food. It's become a bit of a thing, the food in the petrol stations. The 7-Eleven, you saw a glimpse of that um, on the day one vlog. And also the Wawa, they apparently do amazing food and it's cheap and really nice. So we're going to be doing that one of the days. We're going to actually go and film the petrol station food and try some of the petrol station food. Yes. Because you can get some really good deals. You can pick up like hot dogs oh for like God. a dollar and stuff. A massive slushy for one seventy nine. Yeah. A big one. So if you're like coming back, you don't want to eat out, you just want to grab something and take it back to the villa or the hotel or whatever. The petrol station food's meant to be really good. So that'll be a bit of a vlog coming up. Right, let's hit the road. We've got a couple of hours before we come back for mum and dad.
Okay, here we are then, Target. We'll have a little mooch round here, we'll grab a coffee. Oh, I'm excited. A little mooch rooney Do let us all know in the comments. Where is your favourite place to shop? Supermarket wise? Oh. I think it's gotta be Walmart's gonna be the most, isn't it? Publix is very nice, but pricey. Let us know okay. where, where do you normally do all your grocery shopping. Yeah. Even if you're a resident in America, we got a lot of American viewers. Where do you shop? What's your favourite place to do all your shopping? Look at this heaven. Eight o'clock in the morning. If you want to just shop in peace, this is the time to come, isn't it? Right, let's grab a little coffee first. How's it going, Aura? <laughs> That's a new one. I know. Never had that one before. Have we? Right, let's take a little wander then. Yeah, I've got all these nice different little sushi boxes and so they've got a similar deli to Publix in here. All your different sushi and sandwiches and little wraps and stuff as well going on. Some of these wraps look good for dad. Turkey and cheddar, he'd love that. Just all different little snack boxes you can just grab and go. Yukon Gold Garlic Mashed Potatoes, they sound nice, don't they? Garlic mash. And look at this, you just come in, grab a whole bag. This is all the ingredients you need to make a chicken burrito bowl or like sweet pan nachos. Just grab the bag, good to go. Really good idea, isn't it? Just makes things so much easier. Little snack tray. Yeah, you got friends coming around, just a big party snack tray. It's very, very, very good idea. I do wish they had that in uh, the supermarkets in Tenerife, that's for sure. Let's continue mooching. There's some good looking donuts over here. Well, if you weren't hungry before you tuned in, you will be now. Look at those. They look amazing. They, they look almost as good as the Krispy Kreme then. And we've got all your uh, carrot cupcakes. Vegan option there. New York cheesecake, chocolate little cookie sandwiches. I like them ones, you know, you just get a bit of all the different cheesecake. Yeah. See, that looks very sickly, that. The icing on the top of that would be very sickly. See, see, a lot of this icing doesn't taste of anything, it just tastes of sugar. The American one, the pop of stuff, is amazing. Right. Here we go, more cookies as well. You'll all be hungry by the end of this, trust me. You'll all be hungry. And then we're taking you all for breakfast. There's going to be one hungry for hungry start to a vlog, this. I know. <laughs> I love how quiet it is though. If you want to come and do your shopping in peace, get yourself down here early morning. Now I love these. I got the, got the one in Publix yesterday and it was gorgeous. Savory butty, butter Hawaiian rolls. We'll have to get some stuff though. We've got to get a bit of bread and yes. butter. Definitely. But they they're are. Warmed up, they're amazing. Oh, they're gorgeous. They? So nice. Yeah. Too nice. Very naughty. I'm just going to pick out any little highlighty bits. We are here's the global section. <laughs> Let's see how much some of this is. Oh, they've got no tonics, tea cakes left. Three, three dollars fifty for licorice all sorts. A Mars bar is one dollar eighty nine. Where sells that? Because I've never seen that in England or in. They look nice though. Is Coffee really? crisp. Could be amazing. Looks nice. Might get one to try. Or your different share woods so you can make a curry. Amazing. They're on sale them as well. Three dollars twenty eight. That always reminds me of that episode of Friends <laughs> where they're Joey and Chandler. That cashew carrot ginger soup, I bet you that'd be nice on a cold That'd day. Be beautiful, yeah. I'd Some different like flavoured soup, Thai coconut soup. Oh, yeah. See if there's any interesting soup. ones for Dad because he loves his soups. Chili soups, anything like that, oh. he loves it. Tomato bisque, Thai sweet potato. Here we are down the crisps aisle. Now, I absolutely love the nachos out here with the salsa i love chips and salsa out here i don't get it anywhere else but out here i do generally get a bag whatever flavor and then get the nachos and the um the sauce however i don't think i could go with this i think that'll be a bit grim but i do love it love all the options you've got out here you've got corn crisps white cheddar puffs They'll be really good there, Cheetos actually. So plenty to choose from and my favourite things, 
all these different pretzels. Just tons of them. Oh, look at those gluten-free pretzel rods. They would be amazing. Oh, they've got smaller ones as well. And the mini ones. I do love the pretzels dipped in chocolate with some M&Ms on. <laughs> I can't stand pretzel. Gotta have it with everything on it. But again, these big, massive tubs of different biscuits and crisps are amazing. I mean, I don't know who needs them, but six seventy nine. That's an I'd have that if I ate cheese balls. I probably would like them. Six seventy nine. That's perfect. And again, they've got me popcorn here, and I do love these as well. These muddy buddies. They're really nice. They're gluten because they're made using Chex Mex. Really good. Now these are the absolute best M&Ms. You can't get them in England. I absolutely love them. Because the mini, they just taste so much better. And these caramel ones as well. Oh, they just taste so good out here. You can't get this particular caramel in England either. It's a different caramel. For me, this is the one. No, I didn't get these in England. Almond M&Ms. They're pretty nice if you like almonds. I do like an almond. It's just so many different flavours. You can get mixed. Chocolate peanut butter and peanut. Great. Just get anything and everything out here. Love it. Now, one thing that's crazy out here is... You get a lot of sweets in boxes rather than bags. So you get raisinettes as well. I love chocolate covered raisins. They, however, don't love me. But my favourite is Junior Mints. Absolutely love them. Now, when I first started coming out here like seven years ago, they were a dollar a box. Now, the 129, which isn't bad. But yeah, they have gone up in price. But Mike and Ike's airheads everything you've got loads of different sweets here absolutely amazing now these are my absolute favorites the peanuts cashews m&ms and caramel balls to die for i absolutely love them i always get them when i'm out here not cheap but absolutely stunning so i'm going to get a bag of them and you can also get different flavors like peanut butter oh oh and white trail mix get different kinds of flavors loads there yep. i absolutely love them my all-time favorite these are and of course loads of different trail mixes bags of different nuts tubs of different nuts everything i just love how much you can get because in tenerife you can't get brazil nuts you can get them in england but in tenerife you can't really get brazil nuts which i absolutely love but there's just so much. Lightly salted sea salt, raw. There you go, roasted cashews. So there you go, loads of different kinds of nuts. Now, something that Americans absolutely love are Rice Krispie treats. I absolutely love them as well, but however, I can only get certain ones. But the home style ones are my favorite with the marshmallow bits inside. Absolutely love them just amazing so people really do like these out here they are a great snack so you can get rainbow chocolate normal amazing love them so i'm just quickly going to show you the price of different wines different carvers proseccos so um, you've got yeah i would say that's quite expensive so 21.99 now this is a fun one a Snoop Dogg <laughs> one. I'd try that. You never know, it might be nice. Although we're scared of what's in there with it being Snoop Dogg. However, I'd still like to try it. So we've got this, which I would say is sort of a copy of Verb Click A. Hey, $12.99. Good price. Oh, you got more. 19 Crimes by Snoop Dogg. Which is just so much on offer let me oh there we go there's a bottle of california wine for five dollars now that's a good price then we've got fries net we all know fries net 
£12.99 so not a bad price Come and remember that um, I think Florida's got a high tax rate on alcohol I don't know whether that goes to wine and beer but I know they do tax the alcohol a fair bit but just look at all these options just for your wines absolutely amazing now you can buy wines in the shops wine and beers but you can't buy spirits they're very strict on the spirits but we've got brands that we all know like barefoot so barefoot pink moscato 5.49 bargain to be honest bargain. when you put that into exchange rate it's a really really good price so you can get the nice wines that you know about that you know you're gonna like out here for a good price really nice and then ooh, look at these cocktails i like them that's a wine cocktail ready to drink Ooh, and obviously you've got your margarita mix and everything like that so really really good so we've just found a new oreo a black and white so I don't know what flavour that is. Maybe it's just chocolate and white or maybe it's just the colours. So I think it's got the white filling and the chocolate filling half and half in the golden cookie. Yeah. They look amazing. It's a shame they didn't have them in Walmart because I got these yesterday, these limited edition, but these are buy one, get 50% off. So I would have bought both. Yeah. But I might even still get them to try. Yeah, you've got to try them. Limited edition. I've got to try them for you all, haven't I, on the yeah. blogs? Yeah. Definitely. Because I love the, I do love the golden ones. Yeah, you do. Especially dunked in a cup of tea. <laughs> they're like um, custard creams. Yeah, they are. To be fair, well, you know I love an Oreo as well. I'm always keeping out this. Is what I mean about the different supermarkets. Some stuff is in some and not in others. You do have to sort of check them both really. Yeah. Because they were not in Walmart. They had the space dunks, but these were not in Walmart yesterday. Yeah, these look good. Give them a go. Now here we are to the ice cream. So you've got our normal ice cream tubs, vanilla, chocolate, cookie, and then we've got these big massive tubs. Now how much is in there? Is that like a couple of litres of ice cream? It's amazing. And they're only $6.59. Such a good price because I think um favourite day is Target's own brand. Yeah, share and size ice cream. Look at that. The size of them, the crazy. We've got birthday cake. Oh, sea monster. See? Caramel brownie moose tracks. Loads of different flavours. Just so nice. Loads and loads. Absolutely love it. And then you've got stuff like Reese's peanut butter. Cookies and cream. And then you've got your hogan dolls, which everyone knows about. Oh, let's have a look. These plenty gelato layers. Oh, you salted see. Salted caramel, so you've got like chocolate on the bottom and then mousse and chocolate and sauce. With the layers yeah. on the midge fun, mint, mint fudge cookie. Did you see? I know these contain gluten, but I would have one of these if I could. Never mind. Yeah. So, again, stuff that you can never get. Black raspberry chocolate. See, now that's one for your dad. Gelato, yeah, so this is good stuff. So. So many different choices you can get here. I mean, of course you've got your halo top, which everyone knows about, and your favourite day. So really, really good options. Just look at the size of that gain. So three and one, 112 capsules for 27.49. Somebody do the maths and tell me how much that is a capsule. Now I once took <laughs> one of these home so I could have the smell of Florida. So I've still got a couple because I only use them for best, but yeah, absolutely loved them. So Tide is also 27 49 at the same price. Yeah, so Tide, it all just goes on what you like to smell, really. You've got your downy, they're your scent balls that people love. Really, really good, so 9 99 for 20 capsules. Is that 50 cents a capsule? That's cheap. That's really cheap, to be fair. That's my math going right. <laughs> and you've got OxyClean, Purex, Pearsall. Loads of different options, loads. And again, more Downy. That is, oh, I forget what brand is in England, but we've got Downy in England. It's just not called Downy. I forget what it's called now. Let me know in the comments what it's called, because it's the Unstoppables. Just let me know what it's called, guys. 
So here we are, my favourite section, the beauty section. So I'm going to have a look, what's new down here, what I like the look of. But you can just get everything. So in Walmart I did buy some um, clips and bobbles. I mean everything in here, I absolutely love how much stuff you can get. All these different elastic bands, I mean look at those for all hair colours, that's amazing. And then of course your hair dryers, curlers, everything like that. Absolutely amazing. So we're in the hair section now. What I'm looking for is a texture spray. Now I don't know where I'm gonna get a texture spray from because I don't even know anything about texture sprays, but I'm gonna have a quick look and see what I can find. But there's plenty down here. Plenty to choose from. And of course, so let's have a look how much your Batista is. So that's $7.99, quite expensive. Then you've got other brands which are $9.99, $8.99. So not the cheapest. So that's one to think about. Maybe just get it in the boots on the way out here. So that might be a good. Oh, there we go. There's the dry texture spray. Oh, that's a volume refreshing hold. Oh, that might be good though. I'll have a look at that. See what it says. Now this is my absolute favorite brand, Camilla Rose. If you've got dry hair, curly hair, anything like that, this is the one. It's 20 quid, but I might get some because it is gorgeous. I remember I got it years ago. I don't know if it was this exact one, but it tasted of mint choc chip ice cream. <laughs> So I might get myself one of those. Expensive, 20 quid, but I might still get one. So we're now heading into the altar section. Andrew's gonna have a heart attack because I'll probably end up buying a lot. So I've just asked a, I was about to say cast member then, a member of staff about Texas Spray. She just recommended Bumble and Bumble to me. So I'm gonna have a look at that. Apparently this is amazing. So if you got this, give it a little try because apparently that's amazing. I use the e.l.f. one, which I absolutely love. However, it is hard to blend in. And I love these, this brand and these lip glosses. So these plump it ups might be nice to give a try. I'll see. So they have got a really good Disney section here in Target, along with all of the other good stuff for kids, everything you might need for the pool and trips to the beach, things like that. But yeah, they have got a really good Disney section. They do work with Disney, so it's a lot of really good t-shirts and hats and souvenirs and stuff for a really good price. All of those family t-shirts, again, mugs, pajamas, but they're all a pretty fair, decent price. So if you look, for example, the t-shirts, $12, and it is endorsed by Disney. So some good Disney little bits and bobs in here. So we're just grabbing this salt and pepper that mum and dad saw in Walmart, regretted not buying it. They sell it in here as well. So how much are these salt and pepper shakers? $18, I think. It's not bad, is it? No. And it's official really like Disney them. product. It's not fake or anything. Yeah. So we've just spotted these and picked these up for the bar in Tenerife. If you don't know, we recently took over a bar over there. So these would be great for Paddy's day. Got some cocktails in there. So just on the way back, we're just next to Margaritaville. The big sign there, no passport required. What does that say? You don't need a passport to stay there, but that just makes it sound a bit dodgy to me. It's meant to be like a luxury resort, no passport required. Why would you not want to give your passport in? I don't know, it just sounds a bit uh, dodgy. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's Would you want to stay with... somewhere where you don't have to give ID in to stay there? Well, I'm I thinking know. maybe that's for out outside americans you get me so maybe it's for people like me and you you don't need a passport just an id card because america a lot of americans don't have a passport yeah, if anyone knows let me know it just seems to yeah that just, just seems says to like me like free for all yeah come on in anyone dodgy matter, yeah. can stay there yeah yeah Bit of a strange one yeah. crispy cream there on the oh. right had the sign lit up there as well it was a... it means fresh hot donuts yeah if you go past the crispy cream and the sign is lit up red that means the hot fresh donuts are coming out so get them because that's the best time to get them when they're extra fresh. British people will know, because I used to go to the beach. I am um, like Southport Blackpool used to get those fresh donuts with the sugar on. Yeah. And they were always nice and warm and fresh, and that's what made them so special. So if you do like a nice, warm, fresh donut, 
when the sign's red, get in there. If the sign's yeah. not red, they've still got all the lovely fresh donuts, but they're not coming off the machine. Yeah, and they are made fresh daily. Yeah, they are. So nice. it's not as if, you know, they're all so definitely give that a try if you do like a nice hot fresh donut. No let up in the weather though, it's just consistent, consistent rain. Yeah, which isn't great, but heading back, fine. gonna grab mum and dad. We're gonna get a nice English British breakfast here in America. We had a gorgeous Perkins. I love that American breakfast. That was have. beautiful, yeah. The pancakes and the sausages. We'll go for a British one today. Yeah, definitely. And then uh, that's sort of semi on the way to our uh, our nature drive anyway. So we we'll going to see what happens this afternoon. Might do a bit of diesel land or something. A bit of eye drive. That would be really good. Yeah. Some fire trucks oh. going by. So what people don't know is out here, when you call an ambulance or fire, you get both. So you'll always get a fire and an ambulance coming at the same time out here. Strange, yeah, isn't it? Very. very strange, but you always get both. And I think the both the fire are trained in a bit of the medical side as yeah. well. But yeah, out here, both come out if you call them. Really interesting Just, fact, yeah. isn't it? Because I watch American shows, I'm like, why is... A paramedic going with a fireman why are they always together and i don't know why they're always together but that is how it is out here they always turn up together interesting. interesting yeah maybe i don't know maybe it's to save time because a lot of time maybe the ambulances get there and they can't break in so the firemen are there to break in yeah. any doors or climb up things or whatever yeah it's really interesting isn't it very yeah so i got a message earlier on instagram from an Amy. Now, what she said was that her granddad used to actually. Okay, so we're nearly back to the villa, but I got a message earlier on Instagram from uh, an Amy. If you're watching, hello. And uh, what Amy was saying was she'd recognise where we were with the villa, and her granddad used to own the villa 2893 on this street. And she would love to see if it's still there and looking prime. So, as we're still here, We'll have a quick little look. 2893 we're looking for and we'll see if Amy's granddad's villa is uh, still standing as the famous Elton John song goes. <laughs> 2893. So just a bit further up down this road, isn't it? Just a bit further past us, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, just a little bit. We're in about to check out in a minute. Here we go on 2873. So yeah, there's ours on the left that we've there's stayed in, 2872. 2893. Let's have a little look. Here we go. We're on 2883. There it is. 2893. It looks like someone lives there. It's a nice little family. So that'll be the same layout kids. as the one we're in. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. It'll be it with that. a nice lake aspect. Got the bright green door. Yeah. So it looks like a family's living there now, Amy. But it is nice, yeah, it's all well pruned. Grass is all cut nice. Yeah, really busy. They take yeah they've looked after that. Looks lovely. Very bright door frame. But yeah, there you go, Amy. I've checked it out for you. It's one up here for sale. You'll be able to see how much that is. Let's have a look. There's no price on it, but if you wanted to have a look, Goldwell Banker. Oh, uh, maybe that's a, that's a, might be a repo. It looks a bit... Uh, Tired, yeah, and he's yeah. with like a lick of paint and a clean. So that'll be a good price, and if it's a repo, two nine oh one. Well, I never know. It just it just says Goldwell Banker Realty. That with well, the word bank, I imagine that would be a bank repo. Yeah. But... So that's a four bedroom, would you say? I think most of these are four and five beds. Yeah. There's not many that are two stories. You've got the odd big one like this coming and up. And it's here. random. They got this thing in the. Yeah, and the, and the I don't get what that is. They put solar panels on. So I really do not get that little no. crazy but book. But most of them are these little, but there you go. Checked it out for you. It's still there. It's still there, looking good, it's still well oh, maintained as well. Look you... how cute that little blue one is. Oh, that's adorable. Your granddad would be oh. pleased to know they've looked oh, after it. Look they've got a nice that. fountain and stuff outside. I know, that's nice. Yeah. Right, well, we're all in. We're all off for a bit of breakfast. We've left our bags inside, even though it's check out at 10. I did message the owner on Airbnb and they said we can leave our bags in until two-ish, so that's handy. We've not got all the luggage with us. Leave it in the safe in the villa for now. So we're going to the Best of British Cafe. You might have seen that on our last series. Looking forward to taking mum and dad. Bit of an English food fix. Bit of a, an English yeah. breakfast and there's other 
lunch options and stuff you can build your own etc yeah. yeah i'm excited so we'll head there and then we're going to do the uh, nature drive that's only open today saturday and friday so after today it won't be open until next weekend so we're going to take you on that as well right let's hit the highway yeah says so it's about well the rest of british is about 20 odd minutes away and the nature drive is about 45 minutes away so yeah. we'll get cracking but we'll drive on Okay, here we are then, the Best of British Cafe. Now, we do also have a discount uh, voucher for in here, which we got with Mum and Dad's tickets. We get 10% off our breakfast. It's Sunday, so they do Sunday roast and stuff, I think. We'll see how busy it is when we get in there. Yeah, the weather is still not letting up, still not giving up. We're going to enjoy a nice... Richie, are you excited for this? You saw it on my last vlog, yeah, British excited. Cafe. Yeah. You having a breakfast? Do you having a, a roast, a lunch? What are you going for, you know? Scone? Brunch. Brunch, okay. Let's uh, get ourselves in, get a table, and uh, we'll definitely have a nice British cup of tea as well in here. Here we go. Here you go, we're in. We've got the uh, footy on there as well. <laughs> Footy's on. You can uh, scan here if you want to have a look at the menu. You can scan this on your phones now. Have a little look at the menu. I'm looking forward to this. So it smells I. very British in here, doesn't it? Very, very British. It smells very, very British, British cafe, cafe, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like when you used to, when you used to have all British cafes on this on the high street that you'd go into it and yeah. this. So just watching, they've got a channel on YouTube there, which is just someone walking around the UK in the rain, which is quite funny. All your British products here you can buy. What are you having, Mum? Full I'm English. Have a full English. Oh, nice. Yeah. Got to be done. Does it feel weird being in like an English place in really America? Does, yeah. Because this reminds me of like um, a seaside. Yeah, like a seaside cafe. cafe. Yeah. A proper English bacon, English sausage. Yeah, yeah. What are you having, Laura? I'm going to have two fried egg chips and beans. I'm hopefully going to sort of build my own a little bit. What are you having, Dad? I just, um, There's a belly buster there. <laughs> Fancy a little belly buster? A little no. cheeky belly buster? Maybe a, a pasty. Belly Buster, $24 for a Belly Buster. All English products yeah, though, isn't it? It's all imported, isn't it? So it's not going to be cheap. Uh, yeah. Have you seen the size of it on the pictures? Massive, yeah. <laughs> well, it's lovely just enjoying an English pot of tea there. Football on, I feel like I am back in the UK. I just want to show you a little bit of the main menu. So you've got the full English breakfast. Here's some different sandwiches, tuna melt, coronation chicken. Looks lovely. Now, obviously it's Sunday, so this menu isn't on at the moment. They're focusing on their breakfast and their roast dinners. Got a fish finger butty, homemade scone. So if we enjoy it, we can definitely come back. Here's the Sunday roast here. So this is what they're focusing on. Different cocktails, steak pudding, chips and gravy, afternoon tea. If you fancied it, this is what we're on here, the breakfast menu. Different sharing platters, pie and chips. So if we like it, we can definitely come back another day. We've got two weeks, so we can come back and maybe even try a more of a dinner or a lunch. Crumpets. So yeah, if you're missing a bit of a UK fix, they've got outdoor seating as well when it's nice and sunny. And here are the opening hours. So a few different hours there, mostly open at nine o'clock every day, pretty much. There you go. Yeah, it's got a good menu. And then all the, obviously all the extra little British products over there as well you can choose from. Cakes and things. Now, question for you all. Is tea better out of a pot? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I think, is a pot of tea yeah. better than a cup of tea? It is. A, we've we've yeah, all got an individual very, bag. Yeah, we've all got lazy. Put, put a tea bag in a mug because But if you're making several cups of tea, a pot is pot. much better. Yeah, the minute we ordered a few teas, he was like, I'm going to bring you a big pot. Yeah. Yeah, proper it, English it style. To brew in a pot. Yeah, I mean it's still brewing while you're drinking your first exactly. cup, isn't it? It's quite nice just being all, yeah. sort of unlimited, unlimited yeah. tea. And there's people who like to drain the pot with the bits at the end that are super strong, you know. Yeah. I'm still looking forward to today. It's rainy out there, but we're having a nice English breakfast. Yes. I'm looking forward to the nature drive. So many have recommended that. And then yeah, I'm gonna have a little research in a moment on the phone. Have a little look at Diesel Land or something like that for later, International yeah. Drive, maybe yeah. a bit of bowling or something. I'd like that. The good news is, after today, from 3am tonight, the rain finishes and we're back to sunny, sunny Florida, normal, no rain. Yeah. 
maybe bits of rain, but not consistent all night and all day. Thank you. Oh my God, the size <laughs> of that. <laughs> look at that. You you want to eat all that. That is just a regular full English. Look at the amount you get mm -hmm. from regular yeah. full English. It's insane. Look at that. Looks amazing, though, doesn't it? Yeah, just show mum's there. Look at this. Pudding, the butter on there. Look Black at pudding, that. Mushrooms, tomato, beans. I don't do eggs, but they look amazing. Dad's yeah. already dipping. Dad's beans. already dipping there. Look. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, oh, we'll dig in. Oh, there's Laura's. Oh, that looks amazing. So Laura's is obviously a gluten-free option. Eggs, chips and beans, homemade oh, chips. And here's mine. I've gone for a little bit of a build your own. Looks amazing. <coughs> How are we all getting on then? What are you thinking? It's lovely. Nice. Dad enjoying yourself lovely. over there? Absolutely. Laura, all good. I'm nearly all done with mine. The toast, the butter on that toast is stunning. Mm. Toast is gorgeous. That's stunning. Okay, well, it's still raining. Laura's munching on a crunchy. Mm -hmm. I've uh, got myself some uh, little Tunnock's tea cakes there. Do you enjoy that? Ready for a nature drive? I did. Ready for a but nature drive. Look what I found mm. for a treat. Oh, oh not club orange. <laughs> I knew you'd melt when you see these. <laughs> uh, he's already opened the box of I, tea cakes. I guess what? Oh, oh I think really. Cakes. You know when you have a cup of tea back at the villa? Yeah. Da, 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 Custard creams, jeez. <laughs> dipped in the tea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be huge <laughs> after the end of this trip. <laughs> Right, so it's time for a little nature drive. This is completely free as well, this nature drive, oh, wow. according to the oh, website. Like anything so. that's free in Florida. Gee yeah. whiz, there ain't many things that are free in Florida. I'm going to pop it in Google Maps. That. It says it's about 35, 40 minutes away. Right. Can you say that quickly? Free in Florida. Free, 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 <laughs> free, in, free in Florida. Florida. Free it's in hard Florida. to say. Free in Florida. Free in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> So we just pulled over at a racetrack, Dad needs the loo, but while we're in here, I'm going to show you what sort of food and stuff is available. Oh, hey, Laura, look what's available. I might have to get one. Look at these chicken empanadas. You've got pretzels, a big track double bacon cheeseburger. Oh, look at these different hot dogs. They mozzarella sticks there. No. A Southwest bacon, egg and cheese tornado. A roller grill. There's all kinds in here. All the uh, freezies as well. I might get a freezy. They do a Mountain Dew one, a wild cherry. Dr. Pepper frozen. Wow. Nice. They look good, don't they? Might have to get one of them, Laura. Oh, there's all kinds. All kinds in here. I did say about uh, petrol station food, didn't I? So what flavour do you all think I went for? I went for a Dr Pepper. Let's give this a try. So here you go, I've got a nice slushy and a donut, Krispy Kreme, $4. Thank you. You liked it in there, didn't you? Absolutely. You need to put that on a vlog. I know, it's immaculately clean, yeah. cheap. Get build your, your own hot dog, dog and everything. Build everything, all the confectionery is amazing. Donuts, drinks, it's all going on. I know. Okay, so here we are then, Lake Apopka North Shore Wildlife Drive. You can find it on Google Maps, nice and easy. So this is open from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. and you must be out of here by 5 p.m. It's 11 miles, one way only. So here we go, let's give it a whirl. We'll see uh, what wildlife we see along the way. It's gonna be fun this, sort of a bit different. It's good know, for a rainy excited, day like today. Yeah. I actually think it is the one. Is it, could yeah. be the one, yeah, yeah. okay. 11 miles and it says it can be two to about two hours to go through. Right, so mum did a nature drive with Sarah and Scott on uh, one of their recent trips and mum said it was amazing. Just look, see the birds already down there on the roof. Oh yeah, look at them all. See them all in there. It's got some ducks, you've got some on the water's edge there as well. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's nice. Keep an eye out everyone yeah. for some gators. <laughs> seen on my left here, a winter filled skip. Oh. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey. 
Definitely not our dino. <laughs> Loss of traction. Four wheel drive. Move it. I don't want to go about. I don't want to go in that water. So we're just tooling along. You're allowed to do 10 miles an hour along here. It's, it takes approximately two hours. So far, no gators, but mum saw loads of gators in the summer. So I think in the summer months, they're all out on the banks. But for now, loads of birds and wildlife. It is nice and relaxing as well. Just tootling along. We'll uh, catch you if anything interesting comes up. We will certainly stop. So there's a gator over there, you can just about see his head. The way you know how big a gator is, is the distance between his nose and its eyes in inches is normally how big it is in feet. So you would say he's four feet, three feet? Uh, yeah, about four foot by the looks of it from there. Yeah. Just about see his head, chilling. Loving the rain, isn't he? Yeah, I reckon in the, in the warmer months when they're all at the top of the surface and getting their warmth. Yeah, he's not a bad size. No, at least he's seen one. Like, so mum and mum and dad are struggling. It is a bit bouncy and bouncy, <laughs> horrendous. <laughs> We're heads banging ready, against ready, this wait. window. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. I can't back it in. Speed bump tool. I can't do anything about the potholes. See three <laughs> black birds and a crane <laughs> <laughs> and a blue tail suction pump. <laughs> we have seen a gator. No. Yeah. I don't think the weather's we off saw. optimal for going. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we saw we saw two eyes and a nose. We saw a good four foot gator there. Do you know what? It could have been a floaty. <laughs> <laughs> I've just oh, seen a fish jump. Mum's some... just seen a fish jump there. My yeah. head is banging. Oh, banging. oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. On our right, we've got a yellow wheeled dumper truck. Have we, yeah? Wow. Oh, 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 my God. Oh. I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> There's an audio tour you can download. Look, oh, you go on the website, you can listen to the audio. You hear loads of ducks and geese flying. You now it tells you about the surrounding area and what's going on. Do you want to go straight on? Oh, I'll oh, show them. Oh, oh, do you want to go straight on or do you want to go left? Oh, where does left. it say exit? Left. Do you want to go left or yeah. do you want to go straight on? Left. Left. Okay. Left is where we came from. It isn't. It's, it's, it's not. It's one way. Right, left we go, give your best hope. There's support to do there if you need it, oh. Dad. I won't go to oh, Porto out in the wild. You know what? They should be put in room 101, Porto Lose. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Porto Lose. Oh. So, I've got some gorgeous birds of prey here. One of them has just, it was eating a fish and he's just dropped him. He's just dropped the fish. I didn't manage to catch it on the uh, camera, but they are stunning. Stunning he's, birds, them. He knows where the fish is. He's looking down thinking. Yeah, he's literally just dropped it. He was munching away and then he's just dropped it. Oh, oh, oh he's just done a... <laughs> oh, dear, that was he dropped more than a fish there, didn't he? <laughs> dropped more than a fish. Yes. Well, we've just grabbed all the gear from the villa, checked out of that one. I will leave the link in the description if you want to check out that one uh, that we just stayed in on Airbnb. So yeah, we checked out of there. We're just gonna pop to the Starbucks on the end of Old Lake Wilson Road because our next villa is in Windsor Hills. It's not quite time yet to go in there. So we're gonna grab a little coffee first. But I've just never seen the weather like this, just consistently rain for 48 hours straight. And it's the same amount of rain, the same heaviness, the same, just con the same, same consistent level of rain. Been, yeah. Yeah, unreal. Unreal. Crazy, yeah. And it feels dead late at night because it's quite dark and rainy. It feels like about seven, eight at night, only half past two. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to grab a little coffee um, and I'll message the lady, see if the villa's ready a little bit early yeah. and we'll try and get in. I'm looking forward to getting into this one. We this like one this is one. also very nice. Stayed in hit this one before and uh, it is very nice. So 
looking forward to that and then i think we're going to head out this afternoon we can't just sit around it's going to be on all day we've got to go make the most of it so but let me go to international drive yeah figure something else never seen it just consistent it's just not stopped there's no brakes in it there's no glimpse of sunshine no oh it's gone a bit heavier oh now it's lighter it's just the same consistent like someone's got a permanent hose pipe on yeah on the same amount crazy i've never seen florida like that before no well coffee time i need yes. to finish we've been driving a lot as well today that nature drive is about 45 minutes away then another 45 driving around it and then 45 back yeah, I'm ready to get out the car, stress my legs. Yeah, I'm ready for a break from the car yeah. now. Was good nature, good the nature drive. The weather didn't really help. Not many gators around. When Mum came in September, October, there was loads of gators. I imagine it normally is very, very good. We saw some nice birds of prey. We had a little good water time, birds. Really. We had a laugh between us. Yeah, we had a laugh yeah. and going over mm. the bumps and stuff. <laughs> and it, was, it was still worth doing on a day like today. There's not much else to do, so. Mm. Um, it was worth it. I would recommend it, and it was free as well. If you don't, if you don't want to pay out for doing a, an airboat ride, you want to see the gators, especially in those summer hot months. Yeah. You're going to see plenty in there for free for nothing. Exactly. Uh, which was nice. It's yeah, only we'll, open at the weekend, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, only open Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Remember that. Only open at the weekends, and the last time you can enter is three o'clock, and you've got to be out by five. So yeah. do bear that in mind. But uh, yeah, we'll have a little bit of a break, a little bit of a coffee. Yep, need to get caramelised yes. and caffeinated, as I like to say. Yep, I'm excited. Ooh. And then check into the new villa and then see what happens. Yeah. So here we are, Starbucks. We do love this Starbucks. And I'll just quickly show you all the little mugs and stuff they got in. Really, really pretty. I mean, these, I buy it just to put it on show. If I had a big, massive closet, all of a sudden, you know, I'd have all these on show. Although I might buy myself some of these. These look beautiful. These are instant as well. So I think these are just in sachets, put in hot water. I might buy some proper American beans, some European ones, the American ones for the bar. I think that'll be nice. But right now, coffee, I'll have a snack and then We'll check into the villa. So we've just arrived, uh, just checked into um, the community. Yeah, got our uh, parking pass, we're in, so we're a little bit early. We're going to see if the villa's ready. So we're 20 minutes early, not that early, really. Yeah, hopefully it'll be ready or she'll just be leaving or whatever. Yeah, we'll get yeah. all our gear in. The weather has not yeah. relented, it's gone a little bit cooler as well now, 55 I degrees. Know, I don't like it cold. It's a bit of a cold wind as well going on. Yeah, but we're nearly there on new villa, our nice villa. Yeah, we're excited nice to just warm. get in and settle now, drop the bags in, yeah. relax, chill, settle down, have a little hour just sitting still for yeah. a minute and then we'll uh, make a move. But a lot of, the, a lot of these villas you'll recognise me, you might recognise that one from our first trip over yeah. here, we've stayed in that one. You would recognize, yeah. So, if people have stayed on here before, have you stayed in any of these? Do you recognize any of these as the one you've stayed in? You never know, we could go past one or of your favorites. Or if you've stayed on Windsor Hills before, let us know what you think. I think, in terms of location, right next to the park, oh, spot you can't on go the location, wrong. yeah, it is spot on. And the houses are generally, generally nice here, aren't they? Yeah, a lot of them now are refurbing them, getting them right up to those modern standards, which is nice, yeah. And because it's a gated community, the area's clean, the streets are. Well, see that one there is oh, yeah. a quick full refurb, new beds yeah. and everything in there. There's a lot yeah. going on, we need it though. So it's a nice community and it's a safe community, you feel really safe in here, don't you? Yeah, it feels, it feels very homely, very homely. Yeah. Yeah. So it's nice, oh, here we go. And we are in, so let's get past Andrew. Oh, it smells beautiful in here, we do like this one. Yeah, I like this one. Been here before. Oh, it smells so clean. And a nice big telly. So uh, we always go to the left. Yep, I remember this yeah, nice blue room. Gorgeous, isn't it? And it's big and it's homely. Yeah, I do like it in here. That back and feature. Then, We're going to do a full yeah. tour again of some of the changes and everything. But it is beautiful. Yeah, apart from the rain, but. And so this the is the beach room, I'd say. This is a beach room. 
With the yeah, panelling. Love the wood panelling on the back. Yeah. Pointed that out last time. Yeah, so happy to be back. Are you happy to be in? I've never been here. Yeah, uh, yeah you so, have. But you stayed here before. She did some changes and a bit of a refair. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, you've 100% stayed here before for a couple really? of nights. Yeah, yeah. 100%. So much changed then. Yeah. yeah that couch is the same. That couch has never changed. I recognise the couch. Yeah. Yeah. It's undergone some nice changes, a bit of paintwork and stuff. Yeah. Looks lovely. Yeah, it's lovely now. So we're all just settled, we've just done a little live stream, which was quite funny, we got Dad to try some jerky. Laura's just uh, putting the case in. Just unpacking. Do you love yeah. this room, and I like this way as well, you've got the little USBs on the lamps and stuff. Yeah. Makes it a little bit easier to charge. Yeah, I do like the theming, much bigger bed than in the last one as well. Yeah. TV in the room as well, which I quite like when I sit it up and editing. Dad's still unpacking here, it's still raining of course. That situation hasn't changed. Do love that wood panelling. How are you finding it? Happy? Very happy. Yeah. Lovely, isn't Loads it? Loads of space for your, for your stuff. For your gear, yeah. Like the bedside yeah. units are big, aren't they, and stuff. Massive. Big Massive. bed. Got a little TV in your room if you want to put all, something on. All and... going on. All right, good. Licorice. Glad you're happy. No, I'm all right, thanks. So have I'm a little chill. Get a load of licorice, because if you watch the live, what he made me eat, or tried to eat. He tried, to, he tried now, the really teriyaki I beef couldn't, jerky. Couldn't swallow it. It was grim, isn't it? It's like a dog treat. It's, it's like them sticks that you give I, to your I'd dog. I'd rather have a bone up. <laughs> well, there's more stuff to try coming up, so that'll be okay. Did he tempt turkey legs, didn't he? Uh, it was pretty grim. So yeah, we're just chilling, watching a bit of TV. Rain's still going on. You and then we'll uh, get have a little... The villain. Not, we're not going to do the full tour today. I'm going to do the full tour mm. separately. Nice full tour of it. Nice stuff to see. Oh, there is. There really is. Do check out the full tour. I've, I've done a video on this before. There is a little Night Strider um, discount as well on this villa, so uh, something to bear in mind. I have managed to get you a little bit of a deal with the with the owner, and she's generously given our lovely subscribers and viewers a bit of a discount. It's a little look at the kitchen. Yeah, it's nice. Happy with it, Mum? Gorgeous. Nice, Absolutely isn't it? Gorgeous. It's lovely. It's really lovely. I could live here. Yeah, it's lovely and clean and... So what are you thinking now? Just having a little chill on you, a little refresh, and then we'll head to I Drive or something. Yes, give me a time. Uh, what time uh, is it now? 20 to 5. We'd best make a move about half five, really. Yeah. Quick refresh. A little it's refresh, not, yeah. I did want to wash my hair. It's not it? worth it with the weather like this, really. You might as well do it tomorrow and be refreshed and when the weather's better. It's not going to stop raining tonight, so you wash it, it'll just be the same again. It's not worth it. No, I love it. Do you love our room, Dad? It's nice, isn't it? Well, I love, it's the background, you know, with the white accents and the, I love it. Enjoy looking at it now, because in about two hours time, it'll look like a tick. <laughs> you make your sound terrible. I have, all, I have to have all my charging gear everywhere and there's cables around, because I've got to have all my battery packs and stuff on charge. All right, we'll get to finished unpacking then. You doing all right there, Laura? Yeah, it takes a 10 minutes to unpack and pack again. I know, very, we, don't, very organized. we don't bring loads either, do we? No, it's make, mostly just all my lotions and potions. That's the worst part, but they're yeah. organized or loose. So we can have a nice shower and do our yeah. teeth and everything. Right, well, I'm well happy. Made up with that. Lovely little live stream. Thank you to everyone who tuned in. And we'll catch you shortly when we are on our way out to iDrive. A lot of you commented saying go to iDrive, so... Where are you off to now? You're walking around, chomping on beef jerky. And chomping on licorice. You haven't eaten all that beef jerky, have you? <laughs> Save some for me. <laughs> You're going to take a bag home? No. <laughs> so I just fancied a little snack and I thought we'd try our new Oreos. So just to show you, these golden ones in the middle are halfy half. Let's give these a try. Nice. I wouldn't say they tasted particularly any different to the normal golden Oreos, really. A very, very slight hint of chocolate, but nice then. Mm. I like them. No. The space dunks. Let's try one of these. Well, these are like blue and pink in the middle. Let's see what these taste like. Mum's coming in for a try. <laughs> Ooh, jazzy.
Um, I don't think it tastes any different to a normal Oreo. Really? They're nicer. The month. Ah, they've got pop and candy in them. They've got pop and candy in them. Ah, yeah. Mm. So my ears were popping. Mmm. They're nice as well. Mmm. Yeah, with uh, Cosmic Cream and Pop and Candy. Both very nice, actually. Both of them. There you go. If you see them, give them a whale. Both very nice. Space Chunks are different with the Pop and Candy. You'd love them. Laura can't eat them, unfortunately, gluten free. They've got Pop and Candy in them. And what flavour are they? Just like chocolate Oreos, but with Pop and Candy in. Oh, that's amazing. They are quite nice, yeah. I like oh, them. Yeah, I love them. There you go, there's our two new Oreos to try. Mmm. I'd recommend both. I think they'd go, they'd go better with a cup of tea. There goes the alarm. I did do it. <laughs> no. Nice, both of them. Try them both. Definitely, pop and candies are very different. Okay, then everyone, here we are at Deezer Land. We've just managed to park. Car park's nice and busy, but it is free parking here, which is nice. So we'll head on in, see how this all works. You're learning with us because this is new. I couldn't get a huge amount of information from the website. They wanted me to sign up to get offers. It wasn't clear whether you've got to pay to go in or do you go in for free and pay for the things you want to do. I know there's bowling and certain other things. So we're going to head in, check it all out, find out all the information. And of course, I will let you all know exactly how this works it seems to have been very popular today due to the weather for sure it closed at 9 p.m it's currently 6 p.m so it closes in a few hours we've not got loads of time it's interesting to see how this all works yeah if you've been before if you've got any particular tips let us know with their diesel land so this is on international drive not far from all the outlets and stuff not hard to get to and then we'll carry on from here to icon park i think i like it down there bit of i drive really into i drive last few trips is there uh, really got me into it i do like the atmosphere on international drive at night now there's something my nephew would absolutely love the giant mater it's his favorite character on cars the huge tow mater there <laughs> that's awesome Okay, well then, this is uh, this is interesting. So it is, you come in for free and then you can pay to do the things that you want to do. So we've got an auto experience, we've got cart in Orlando, a cinema, bowling, axe throwing and pinball. Yeah, so go karting over there. Gaz from the Incredible Wilsons, perfect day. Look at that. Oh, Gaz, if you're watching Incredible Wilsons 007, there's only one James Bond that we know and his name's Gareth Wilson. <laughs> But yeah, we've got go-karts you can pay to do. There's ice skating. Uh, you've got the bowling as well. You can mooch around some of these cars. So it is free to come in, which is nice. Sort of a bit different, isn't it? Did oh, yeah. you expect it to be like this? No, not at all. Yeah, we're learning now. Something new. You've got different eateries around as well. Indoor cars, it is fun, you know. That does look good fun. Do you fancy a go? You're fancying it, are you? A little bit of go-kart. Look at these different cars here, Dad. You got the mystery machine there. Bugs Bunny. All right, you can rent scooters as well to go round on. It's that big. You can rent a scooter in here. Oh, this is something different. Oh, look. With Penelope. Wow. Some of these cars are insane. Look at that. Wow. Wowee. Some interesting stuff in here. Look at that. Wow. Now you'll notice as well the go-karts are going round and there's no noise because they are electric go-karts. That's pretty fun as well. No noise or smell with them. Do you notice the electric they're electric the go-karts? That's why they're so oh, quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dad's looking at all the history stuff, the private jet. It's pretty cool in here. I had no idea it was like this. A lot of you recommended this, so thank you very much. 
for uh, all your comments. I don't know where to turn, I don't know where to go. Have you noticed the go-karts are electric, Dad? They're going round, but they're that quiet. They're electric go-karts. How fast are they going? Quite quick, yeah. Doesn't look quick to me. No, well, they're going slow now, but they were going quick before. Oh, well, I see. Is it one of them where they are? They can slow them down, I think. Probably, yeah. No, they were going quick before, but they're electric. It's pretty fun. I don't know where to go. Where'd you turn? Do you want to do a bit of go-karting first to start off? Or do you want to go and do bowling? Do you want to have a little mooch? Okay, let's moochie. So this is the Orlando Auto Museum. So you do have to pay to enter here and you've got all kinds of historic cars and collectibles in there. So these are the ones you can just see out the front inside is even more. You just have to pay to have a ticket to go down there. So if you're into all your cars and stuff, that could be an option. Interesting, this... what we've got here is an all-you-can-eat cereal bar. An all-you-can-eat cereal so if bar? if you like your cereals, you can go there and eat all the cereal you like. Wow, just constant That's cereal, 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 yeah. cereal. There's the bowling. All got a game of the bowling. And there's the trampoline park. Yeah, I'd seen that. Just, uh, just on the screen there, the trampoline park. That looks fun as well. Hey, great for a day like today, this. Have a real good mooch around. That suits dad, that. <laughs> suits you, that one, dad. Mad, isn't it? We'll keep mooching. Now in here is a giant arcade area. So if you're into arcade games, there is loads in here. I cannot tell you how many machines there are how busy it is loads of arcade games a lot of these uh, these are all the prizes so once you play the arcade games you get all your points and then these points buy the prizes so you can win all kinds absolutely all kinds of here you go in here and then you can uh, win all your points and stuff and then come and spend them here pick what you want good way of doing it so if you've got you know you've got lads toys girls toys toys for younger ones it's a good way of doing it good fun crazy in here isn't it good fun now just inside there is your laser tag if you like a bit of laser tag there's the laser tag you got bumper cars car simulator it's all going on in here So this is the Harry Potter Ford Anglia. I just say the fun fact, the producers wanted to use a real British number plate from that era. So the number plate is actually a real number plate on that. Uh, if you're a Fast and Furious fan, I certainly love the first few movies. There's a really cool car there for you. That is Brian's from the first movie. Love that car, that green one. Do like that. Here's another one as well from the film just there it's all in the car museum so if you're into your cars definitely worth checking out see a few James Bond ones in there and stuff as well but yeah that one there from the uh, Fast and Furious don't know whether these are replicas or not but I do love that car the green one well, that's so much to look at so much going on it's uh it's hard to look with nowhere to look isn't it yeah. And I love that it's free entry as well. You can come in if something takes your fancy. Great if it doesn't, no stress. Yeah, it's nice. Free parking, free to enter. That's yeah. what we like. So we're now looking at Jumpstart. Now this is that trampoline park. I don't quite think we're going to get Dad in here with his uh, false hip. But yeah, this is a jump park where you can do all the jumping around and jumping off the walls and jumping all over the show. Where the kids out. Hey, you want a fancy go, Dad? No. Get, a, get a new hip. <laughs> so here are the attraction prices. So the cars in track for an adult, twenty six ninety five. Uh, if you want to do the jump start in here, you can have all day for thirty dollars. Uh, bowling, if you want a sixty minute lane, fifty dollars. It's a little bit more expensive in here than the bowling we found on iDrive uh, on our last visit, which we will point out. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yes, they do have to have the socks with the grip on at the bottom to uh, just for safety. But yeah, it gives you an idea of all the uh, prices just there. 
So yeah, on a rainy day like today, this place is perfect. And uh, you can just let the kids do their thing. You can chill in one of the little bars or the little restaurants. I think if you're a massive car person, you've got another American Classics car section here. You've got the DeLorean, all kinds in here. You've got one of those lovely new Lamborghini 4x4s. It looks like over there, you've actually got the green, that looks like the green Jaguar from Die Another Day in there. Have you seen that? My favorite James Bond movie, The Green Jaguar. Oh, right, yes. From Die Another wow. Day. Yeah, some uh, really cool cars and stuff. You definitely want to come and have a look around. Look at the Orion over there. Yeah. Just look at the amount of arcade games you've got in here. You've got new style, you've got classics, you've got throwing games, racing games. There is all kinds. What's this here? Base Orlando. What does this do? This looks interesting. I think that's like virtual reality, is it? Okay, so Laura and Dad are gonna try this Verse Orlando. You can walk through the planets, which is right up Dad Street. And then there's a couple of other options. You can walk through gardens with all different animals and things. Talking animal, you can stroke the animals and stuff. It's like a bit of a virtual reality sort of thing. Which is gonna be interesting. You've got a headset on and uh, eyewear as well. So I'm gonna follow these around. Uh, we won't get to see what they're seeing, but they can describe what it is and what it's like and uh, what they sort of see and think of it. Here's dad getting all kitted up. Yeah. So what can you can you see everything dad, yeah? <laughs> this is really, really interesting. So not only is it visual, it's also uh, audio as well. So Laura has to speak and answer things and answer questions to be able to then first enter the garden. She's got a pet of rabbit before she can even enter. It's very, very, uh, it's very unusual, isn't it? Me and Mum are, are just observing. She's going into the gardens, but you, you've got to like speak and you've got to like pet things before you can do the next thing. She's got audio, she's listening to things now. Instructions and things. Dad's just off looking around planets, I imagine. <laughs> this is Dad on a normal day, isn't it? You often see Dad just in the house like that, don't you? See, look, she's got a look. There you go. She's petting, petting something. A rabbit. Mental. Absolutely mental. That's very unusual, isn't it? <laughs> oh, hello. That's mad. There so you go. You can hear things do, doing things, and she's stroking things. I'd love to see what she's seeing, but it's not possible. Very unique, very unique concept. So the total for this was $76. The price varies on which one you're doing. So I think Dad's Planets one was uh, a little bit more expensive than Laura's Garden one, I think. You know, Laura's loving looking at stuff. <laughs> Oh, 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 she's off. She's off. <laughs> Found Dad just wandering around. <laughs> Dad? Yeah, it's a bit... It's, it's, it's... Tell us what you see and what's it like. I can see Hayley's Comet. Right. And then if I point the cursor at it, it's moving. And then it, it, it sort of bounces up with information about it. Is it good? Very good. Clever? Oh, oh, very clever. Do you feel like ill or anything or? No, 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 no. Nauseous, no? no. Feel Ill, no. So you know where you are, you're just. You've got to point it at an object. Right. With the cursor with your head. And so... then it comes up. Oh, oh, wow. All about our sun. So it gives you information on each planet with dads. But so there's like a cursor in the middle of the glasses which you point then and it knows where you are. You push it again and it goes away. Right. The last is over there. Right. So can you see me stood in front of you or am yeah, I not? Yeah, you're there. Right. That's very clever, isn't it? It's very unique. Laura's dropped something. Laura's fuming. Dropped a rabbit. 
what's she after? <laughs> Can you imagine waking up and finding Laura going around the kitchen like that? <laughs> oh, funny. Now, I think Laura's has got a lot more audio going on. I think Laura's is a bit more like a game compared to Dad's. It's a bit more informational. That's something very different, isn't it? Do you think you'd enjoy it more? Or do you think it'd be a bit much for you? Would you like to try it? Let's see what Laura says. Right. Might have, might have sent your head a little bit. Well, Dad, does, Dad, Dad seems to be fine. He's gone off to discover more Plano. There he is, look. <laughs> <laughs> he looks funny, look at him. Look at the hands. What's he doing with his hands? Is he holding the he planet there like or what? Anthony Gormley, um, another place on Crosby Beach. <laughs> Is he holding the planet Doesn't or what? I don't know what Laura's up to over here. <laughs> Can you tell me where the toilet is, please, love? <laughs> I can't seem to find it. <laughs> oh, look at all this lovely cereal available here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at, Dad? Stars. And for things to pop out and ask questions. <laughs> I've already, I've not done very well, really, have I? Can you see that? <laughs> yeah, I can really see it, Dad. I've, I've can scored really... 82. Out of? I don't know. You can't. It's like a clock. <laughs> I've got to discover all 15 celestial bodies and get as many points as I can. Right. I've only discovered four. I oh. feel like I've discovered four or more. Right. Uh, Laura's headset did glitch, so Laura just went and changed her headset. Let's, Let's see, see if she's get, doing any better. Let's see if Laura's getting any, any more. She said she couldn't find any animals, so she's changed her headset. Is it better now you've changed your headset, Laura? Sorry, what? Better now you've changed your headset? Well, you just can't find anything. It's not registering my hands. Do you get me? All right. It's not good. Okay, so what did you think? Was it worth the money? I'm going to say it was very good, very clever, but not brilliant. Right, okay. Uh, I must have looked weird because it's asking you to, to grab things and, and, yeah. and there's one thing you could grab and throw and... Right. And then, I couldn't find all the celestial bodies, which was frustrating me. Right. And then it throws up questions that you have to answer. Okay. It's, it's really, really clever. Great fun. Worth the money. And what about you, Laura? Enjoying? Well, unfortunately, my kept glitching. So it was just glitching the whole time. It would have been good because you got to interact and you got to find the animals and then you were in different, like, sort of places so i ended up under the ocean trying to find an octopus right. give you a riddle and then tell you to find but yours kept glitching didn't it which glitching. sort of ruined the experience a little bit yeah if it wasn't worked it would be a good little experience but for me it didn't work so it wasn't the greatest okay well fair enough we gave it a go we'll continue to wander around see what else jumps our fancy i'd like to see the 007 exhibition 007 exhibition the gaz wilson exhibition let's yes. have a little look so this is the 007 exhibition. You've got a nice bar with all different bits of memorabilia posters and stuff along the bottom of the bar. Different posters around. It's quite fun. And I think there is a little bit of a restaurant diner inside maybe. Okay, so just to show you, you have got the cinema. That's the full cinema there. If you want to go and watch a movie, look at this even more car memorabilia going on in there the museum is absolutely huge troll car, troll oh, car. you and the troll cars <laughs> more arcades there and then the axe throwing is over there as well you fancy throwing some axes get rid of all your anger yeah it's massive in here isn't it i can't believe that car museum is huge there must be so many cars in there when did this open um i'm not too sure fairly recently that car there dad I'm sure that's Walter White's from Breaking Bad, you know. <laughs> I'm sure he's got one of them. It's, more, it's the same type of car. Same I don't know whether it's car, that one that's is, is that from Walter's, Breaking Bad. I love Walter's car. But that is, that that one there, that is. Well, you knew the make one, so I can't think of what the make it. I asked you what make car does he drive. No, but that's, his, that's like the family car, you know, the old before <laughs> yeah. upgrades. The upgrades, yeah. I could, I'm sure that's one of them. So the axe throwing here is $30 per person for 30 minutes. 
not not cheap to throw some axes at the wall, but if that's what you're into, you can uh, go for it, you know? So we're just looking at these signs, maybe thinking of one for the bar. We don't know, we like this one. The like as you find the holes have a pina colada. We do like them. The nice little signs, it's just where they'd go in the bar and would they look good in the bar? What do you think guys? And you've got more obvious Florida ones, stuff like that. And then you've got loads of little cute signs like this. They're nice. There we go, they're nice coasters. I think they're all coasters. They're cute, I like them. I haven't got a beach themed house though, so I wouldn't get them, but still, they're cute. And we do like these. I like that. They go nice in the bar. I like that. Well, that was a good few, good few little hours in there. We didn't do the go-kart in the end, might do that another day. But there is another go-kart in track nearby, which is meant to be a little bit better. It's still raining, of course it is. It's uh, pretty grim. Gonna make our way to the car and then we maybe repark at Icon Park or somewhere like that and uh, go for dinner somewhere. But the rain is just relentless, isn't it? <laughs> Look at Laura. Oh, when have you ever seen Laura like this, well. in like this in Florida? like this in Florida. Oh dear. Well, I'm sure a lot of you will recognise that site. It is the Star Flyer, which means we are here in Icon Park. So we're going to walk through Icon Park to the Old Red Honky Tonk Bar. Bit of line dancing, bit of food. And I'm sure we'll get mum and dad up to do a bit of line dancing. They like all that. Yeah. Quite quiet around here tonight, as you can imagine, due to the weather. A lot of the outdoor stuff is closed and not open, all these little stands and stuff. But we've made the most of the day, and the good news is this is the last of the rain. In a few hours, the rain is gone, done, and the weather's looking pretty good for the next few days, which is nice. Uh, it's still been a good little day, it's been a busy little day. I hope you have enjoyed the vlog. If you have enjoyed it so far, all we ask is that you give a little thumbs up on the video, really helps us out. And uh, make sure you subscribe, it's completely free, you just need a free Google Gmail account, you can log into YouTube and subscribe and you'll be notified when we upload our next video, etc. Hopefully some future trips coming to uh, Florida, of course, our favourite place. There you go, there's a good little atmosphere in there as well, it's always a good one as well. This is the, is it the Tin Hat, is it called? Tin Roof, that was it. And this does uh, all the live music and nice little bar there. So that's the uh, tin roof. There you go, there's a singer on the stage. We're heading to this one here, Old Red. We need a bite to eat as well, so let's uh, get ourselves in there. Hey, here we go. I can already hear the lady instructing on the stage the uh, latest dance. Okay. Oh, it's nice and busy as well. This is going to be good fun. The busier it is, the more fun it is for the line dancing. Let's get ourselves in here. Oh, wow. Yeah, very busy tonight. Very busy. So we're just waiting for a table. It is busy, busy tonight. So we've got about a half an hour wait, but we're grabbing a drink at the bar here. And then a bit of a dancey dance. You getting up there, mum? You getting on it? Uh, once you learn the dance, you'll be up there. Uh, maybe. Okay, so here's my uh, little chicken sandwich. Looking good, Laura's gluten free there. Yeah. And mum and dad have gone for these chicken salads. Enjoying yourself there, dad? Lovely. There's a bit of a slow dance going on in the background. Well, that was a good end to a little day. That was good in there. Really good singer, really good band. Good bit of line dancing going on. Mum and dad didn't get up, which we was disappointed with. No, no, you know? because the only one reason I didn't get up is the dance floor was full of kids. I don't look at my 
<laughs> it was busy. It was busy on the uh, busy on the dance floor. There it was good atmosphere though. Good little Sunday night atmosphere. But I am knackered. Absolutely knackered. The concentration from driving and all that. It's been a tough day driving but today. We're up early in the morning. It's uh, Universal tomorrow. Now where are we going now? Home to bed. Home to bed. I'm done in. I'm absolutely done in. I'm cream crackers. Right yes, we are. Right. Are you sure? It's universal tomorrow. Hope to see you all there. <laughs> be I'm, there or be square. I'm ready for bed. You two being on the ale and all that. I'm, I'm ready for bed, mate. Absolutely okay, ready for bed. Not, seven. Seven? Yes. Are you joking, are you? No. no. Well, then we're going to be hitting all the peak traffic on the I 4, no, then if we leave at nine. We leave at nine, we're going to be an hour on the I-4, right, bumper, bumper to bumper. Do you no, promise me gonna be bumper to bumper. Right, I'll be working out when I get home, but I just need to get home now. I'm done in. <laughs> So that is it for today's vlog. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, do please give a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe as well. It's all completely free and we've got so much more to come from this trip. So do join us because we've got a whole two weeks here in Florida action packed. So don't forget to check out the other vlogs. Thank you very much and stride on.